Guys and gals, in this video, I'm going to show us how to use the offset uh, along with the push pull to actually clear out the entire hole. All right. Um, so uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view just to kind of give you an idea of how this looks 2D uh, and just the difference between that in my isometric looking from the side. Now we can actually see what we've done to our shapes. Um, sometimes a little easier than others. The triangle is a little hard to see from this angle. So if I orbit up and around, uh, you'll see that I can see the bottom right there. Um, coming in today, we're going to go over and we're going to once again use the offset tool. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to select and we're going to move in. We're actually going to go real skinny in this one. I think the first one we did 10 millimeters, the second one we did four. This one we're just going to go one and we're going to hit enter. All right, this is going to leave us with a very skinny wall. Um, now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of orbit around my piece. All right, and if you haven't figured out how to orbit yet, remember you can mm -hmm. find it down in the bottom of your tools. Um, just kind of click and move that around. All right, you can play with it a little bit to see uh, how it works. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click with my push pull tool. Actually, sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. I want to do the same thing for the rest of my ones. Also, so here, slide in one. I want to do that to all my shapes before I start moving into the push pull tool. One, enter. All right, now I want to go to the push pull tool. Just that excited about the push pull tool, I guess. Um, and remember that's now found in our offset selection. And we click here, and our trick about clearing this out all the way and actually making a through hole is we're going to go to the bottom edge here. Notice how it says on edge, all right? Uh, if you don't see it right away, we can zoom in to kind of get closer to it. When you click on the on edge, if I zoom back out and kind of orbit up and over, you'll see that I've cleaned that pocket all the way out. There's nothing left, all right? Once again, kind of orbiting around to the back side here. And I'm just kind of dragging it from left to right across my screen and then from down which are the bottom up, going back the other way. I'm going to select the top there. Once I go again, go to the bottom edge where it says edge here. And the end point will work too. Notice how it says edge in between on the line. And this one I have to zoom in quite a bit to actually find the edge because the midpoints and the points happen so much in a, in a circle. Um, but if I find that edge, select it, zoom out, orbit up and over top. There it is again. And then one more time with our triangle. All right, so what we did here over the course of this last few blocks, I'm just gonna go back to kind of get the orientation right over top, isometric. Um, and I'm gonna kinda, after I get isometric, I wanna go zoom extents to kind of put it in the middle here, close my scenes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of orbit just a little bit from top down so I can see through in all those shapes that we've done. And then kind of back out just a little bit so I can see all my stuff. All right. Um, now, uh, the submission um, for this will just be our screenshot. So uh, make sure that we screenshot our stuff in this space right here. Um, and But we're also going to need uh, to do a save as a PMG to turn this in um, on Friday with our other documents. Uh, so to turn this basic shapes video in, what we need to do here is do a file menu, which is the three lines right here. And then we want to do a download. And what we want to do is we want to download this. Sorry, cancel. I pushed the wrong menu. It's the export. And then export is a PNG. We want to shrink the window so that it's close to our stuff. So if that's 600 this way, I'm going to say it's about probably 600 this way also that I want to be. And uh, I could probably use that right there. So 600 by 600 or 600 by 600, 625. Transparent background allows us to see a little a little better. And then we want to hit export as a PNG. That export that we have happen, it'll be over here in the Chromebooks. 
um, that will be your submission uh, later on in the week, kind of our as our week-long unit. We'll have the slideshow to turn in and a few PNGs also to snap in there from this assignment. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Have fun in SketchUp.